Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to create and work with portfolio single pages. To define your portfolio single page layout, please use the theme options, single, portfolio. Before we start the tutorial, it's essential to make a premise. When you import demo contents, each portfolio page has a different layout. This helps to give you an idea of what are the creative possibilities of Uncode. In fact, each page has different page options for single page diversification, which, if set, take precedence over the general theme options. So, please remember to test theme options for the single portfolio on a new portfolio page, or at least make sure to remove the active options from the page options and set them on inherit so that they inherit the options from the general theme options. As for all the other post types, you can use the theme options portfolio to modify elements of the layout, such as the menu, the header, the content area, each group have its own options, navigation, footer, and custom fields. What is unique for the portfolio is the details group of settings. Inside the details section, you can define the main portfolio layout and create as many dynamic portfolio details as you need that will be later available in the single portfolio layout. Let's add some custom details. For example, clients, service, year, and link. After saving the theme options, these details will be available on the portfolio single pages. Let's proceed with the set of a portfolio single page. I create a new portfolio page by the Add New button. I insert a title for the new portfolio. I set the featured image. That is the cover for the thumbnail when used inside an index. In a few words, it's the poster image of your portfolio when displayed in the list of all the portfolio items. Insert the excerpt. That in the portfolio is used for the textual description of the project. If you don't see the excerpt field, activate it from the screen options at the top of your page. I set the media. Here you can add images of your project. These are the specific images or videos of the portfolio page. In the page options details, I insert some data. These are the details fields we have previously created. Please note that if a detail is not filled, it will not be printed on the page. Only the filled details will be printed on the page. I can assign some categories that are used to categorize the item and activate the filter menu on a portfolio index. Let's save the page and check it. Perfect. Here's our portfolio project. Now that we inserted the contents, if needed, we can get back to the theme options portfolio to modify the layout or test some options. We can, for example, change the media layout option. Here there are three layout modes, stack, carousel, and grid. Let's switch from carousel to stack. With this option, elements will be stacked vertically. Now, all the single portfolio layout that doesn't have specific page options applied have been modified. Now let's modify the portfolio details layout to a side layout. There are two horizontal and two vertical modes. Let's switch to details on the right. Save the options. and refresh to test the page. Perfect. Here's our new sticky sidebar layout test 
and it applies to all the single portfolio pages. So, thanks to the combination of the Theme Options Portfolio options, you can recreate all the portfolio single page variations that you will find in our demo, that are part of demo content, and that we saw at the beginning of this video. Uncode Portfolio Presets layouts work great if you need an elegant and clean portfolio style, but it's possible to do more. Whatever your layout, it's possible to extend the media area and use the Media Gallery module of the Page Builder that has thousands of options to match. How does it work? Simple. We make sure to insert a Media Gallery module. Now the Media Gallery is empty, so we can activate the Dynamic option. With this method, the gallery will be populated by our portfolio media that are attached to the page. After saving the page, if you prefer, please continue with the front-end editor. Now we configure the media gallery layout according to our needs. I do not explain in this tutorial the specific options used, since the media gallery module has massive options and there's a dedicated video. Anyway, thanks to all these combinable settings, it's possible to create everything you may need. In this example, I created a fully customized stage padding carousel with Lightbox that replaces the native media layout preset. Pretty cool. It's also possible to create a portfolio page layout in completely custom mode with a page builder. To create a custom portfolio layout, you just need to hide the details area. In this example, I deactivated the option from page options because I'm creating a custom layout for this portfolio item only. When you hide the details area, the page is something like a blank canvas, so everything can be created with the page builder. I've prepared here a custom example of our portfolio page. As you can see, it's possible to create an extended, fully customized creative layout. From a simple and clean portfolio layout, we're moving on to a complex and feature-rich portfolio case history style. And the creative possibilities become virtually endless.